I'd have to disagree. I actually think women are great drivers. Oh, I think they are recording. quite good. Yeah, we're recording. Yeah, I'll go back on your word now. Isaac HP. Hello. Is your surname Sauce? Uh, no. It stands for horsepower. Where did that come from? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah. Gets the girls going. I bet. What do you say to people that call you Isaac Piss and Shit instead of Isaac HP? No one's ever said that to me. No one's ever. I know people that say that. Really? Well, that's, that's behind my back. What do you say to them now? Uh, I say, go fuck yourself. I don't want, I don't, I don't want you to, to be around me. You heard him. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. You got another question? <laughs> How big is your penis? <laughs> like, it's like a shower. It's a grower, not a shower. Yeah, it's quite small, but quite big as well. You know? Like, it's small, but then it gets really big. Penises do that, yeah. A lot of girls say to me, it's like, it does the job, you know? How many girls say that? Uh, most of them. I've never had anyone complain that it's small. That's, that's comforting. I met a girl once, and she really likes small penises. You know? She really likes small penises. She was like, oh, it's too, it's too big. But then I was like, wait, wait, so you want me to stop? And so we stopped. She was like, I just really like small penises. When thought, you say, she said I thought you'd have a small penis. You say stop, what were you doing? Well, just, we're just having normal sex. It was just too big for her, it grossed her out. My penis isn't that big though. It's just yeah. disgusting. Yeah. No, 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 to do her you, it Do is. you have a disgusting penis? No, I have quite a pretty penis. People say that. Like, they see my penis as like a HD penis. Nice. I want to change my name to HD. Oh, as a HD, HD for the penis, Yeah, obviously. Everyone like, who knows me a while, who's known me for a while, has like a little, little foreskin slip of me. People take photos of it. I've heard a rumor. I just want to clear it up. Okay. Um, you pull your trousers down to your ankles at the urinals. No, nah, I never did that. But That's... I know someone that used to do that. He just always used to do it. Forever, forever he did it, you know. Well, he's still doing it now. Well, he just pulled his whole, his whole trousers down, you know. He's still at the urinals now with his trousers down. No, but you would see him do it. And sometimes if he needed to fart while doing it, he'd like stretch his ass, he'd st he stretch his cheeks. So his ass, like, so it would be like a silent. You ever done that way? Like you stretch your cheeks so you have a silent fart? No. So he would stand at the urinal and if he had to fart while pissing, you'd, you'd walk in there and he'd be stretching his cheeks out. In that scenario, what happens if air comes into the butt? Rather know. than out, because you're spread, you're like inviting air in, right? Well, you, sometimes when you fart, you need to when you piss, you need to fart. You've got a studio here in Brighton. We've just been. It's very nice. Yeah. What's with the human body parts in the corner? <laughs> They're just props. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that was real flesh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a prop in it. You can buy it. You can buy them for research purposes. Okay. What about the? But the vagina. Well, you can buy problem. human. Uh, you can buy human body parts for research purposes. Have you ever thought about like uh, grave diggers? Are they a thing still? Yeah, they're around. Yeah. Yeah. You think grave diggers are a thing? That never goes out of fashion. <laughs> that never goes out. Never. It ain't gonna be good stuff in graves anymore. If you could grave dig and like be like, oh my god, she's got that like '90s Carhartt jumper. Straight you from know? Depop. Yeah, you put that on the Depop. But I do that like hipster grave digging. You know. Yeah. Got that on camera. Breast milk or oat milk? <laughs> uh, you know, I want to taste breast milk again, you know? Again? Just a little sip. I'm going to tell my mum to start making it again, you know? I don't think that, that's, I don't think I that's how it works. I, I, feel like, I feel like if you gaslit someone into thinking that they were pregnant enough, they would probably start developing breast milk. Try me right now, try doing that to well, me I can't right do now. it to you, because... I've, I've got don't. nipples. Yeah, I know man can get nip, milk out the nips, but I wouldn't want to do that. Can they? Huh? Say it, if your mum dies at childbirth, which is a classic thing. Yeah. It's classic. The man develops milk in their nipples. And that's, that's, that's classic. I know a dad in my town, and there's rumours that he used to be able to do that. But I, I knew a kid that believed that milk came out his thumb. He had an infected thumb. For a little bit, I believed he had a nipple on his thumb. And milk would, he'd squeeze milk out of it. It was really weird. You've got to stop believing people who tell you stuff like that. <laughs> well, I just believed it for ages. I've got a game that we can play. I'm going to say a few statements about myself and you can tell me if you think they're true or not. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, I have ringworm. I don't believe that because I see the twirly stuff around you. Unless you're covering it up. But no. I, I know. do have ringworm. 
Oh, you actually do? Yeah. You're not supposed to touch people then. No, it's really contagious. Uh -huh. I have a birthmark that looks just like Jesus on my gooch. I don't believe that. You're right, I don't. I had my gooch donated, I don't have a gooch anymore. You don't have a gooch? No. You can donate stuff like that now. What could you donate a gooch to? Children's hospitals. Well, imagine like, imagine a gooch would make a good handle for something. Yeah. You know? That would fit in your studio. A bag handle made a gooch. It'd be soft. Because a gooch is like, you know, gooches are weird, aren't they? Yeah. Do you have a gooch? Every penis has like a line that goes down the whole penis. Down the ball sack, down the gooch. When I was a kid, I didn't know what that meant. So I genuinely believed that I had a surgery when I was a kid, like on my genitalia. Like I had like, a, I, and my mum didn't tell me about it, you know? And I thought that's why I couldn't pull my foreskin back, was because of it was a botch job. My mate at school convinced me to try and chop my own foreskin. And I got a razor and I knew it. He thought, he told me everyone has to stick their own back just to their foreskin. Yeah. It's hard. I've got size three feet. <laughs> oh, obviously you don't. I just saw your feet. Nope. They're three and a half. What's your next question? Do you always have nits or just sometimes? <laughs> when I was a kid I had nits. Yeah. I had nits and fleas. <laughs> How did you get fleas? A homeless cat came into our house <laughs> and gave the whole house fleas. So for Christmas we had to move to my mum's boyfriend's house at the time because you could literally see the fleas bouncing around. I mean, I had fleas, I always had like, you can see like little scars and stuff. Those are little like nibbly bits here and stuff like that. That's yeah. from fleas, that's from scars of having so much fleas as a kid. Always had nits as a kid, forever, never got rid of them. That's really disgusting. I think puberty got rid of my nits. <laughs> I'd scrape them into the sink and just watch them like fight each other. Fight, yeah. yeah. We've all been there. Once I remember pinching a knit out of my hair, I had a half sister, I have a half sister, she's still alive. Um, and what I did was, I put the knit in her teddy bear, and I was like, I'm gonna give your teddy bear knits, ha <laughs> ha, and walked off. You had a lot of knits. I had so much knits that they just give the, news the newsletter to me. Would you rather always smell like fish for the rest of your life, yeah. or end poverty? Uh, I don't like poverty. Do you want to eradicate poverty? I don't like poverty at all, you know. Would you say you want to well, eradicate I grew poverty? Well, I grew up in poverty. Would you eradicate that? But. I dealt with it. You grew up inside poverty. But like, I feel like if I, had, if I smelt a fish, my life would have been a lot worse. Because I couldn't get any nooky. I wouldn't be able to finger no one if I smelt like fish. I'd would think. you eradicate poverty? That's such a hard question. Because like, yes, yes, it's, it's also my smell. At my expense, everyone has to smell. Everyone smells good and everyone has, everyone has food on the table and stuff like that. But I'm walking around stinking of fish and no one likes me. If everyone smells like fish, would you eradicate poverty then? If everyone smelled a fish, smelling a fish would be normal. Exactly. Well, that goes a bit And at fishy. that point, like would it. you eradicate poverty? Uh, or do you still want it around? Yeah, but that isn't the question. That isn't a big question anymore, is it? But it's my question. <laughs> You're just saying, would you eradicate? That's the, that's the question yeah, now. Yeah, my question is, would you eradicate poverty? Yeah. Uh, just in general? Yeah. Yeah, if I could do you that. You would yeah. eradicate poverty? Yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. <laughs> Let me gasly into this question. <laughs> that's Poverty Jones. <laughs> a little boy from Swansea, Poverty Jones. You want to eradicate him? I'm sorry, but if you're poor, you don't have to give your kids poor names like poverty. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even name my kid. People need more protein, innit? Have you ever cut your toenails too short? Just a little bit too short? Uh, nah. I knew a kid that used to have really short toenails. His mum slices them off. I don't think they had a toenail cut. I think she just had like a good kitchen knife and she just cut them off. 